Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. So let's get into it. Now, what's going on, you guys? This is be your boy, Scott, about Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes! For the Mess, okay? And we're here to talk about Tasha K and nothing but Tasha K, okay? First of all, Tasha K did an interview with um, T.S. Madison um, today on Fox Soul. We're going to do what I normally do. People have asked me for my commentary on this interview, so I'm going to treat this same interview the same way I treated the interview with Funky Dineva and um, uh, Alberto Reynolds and Claudia Jordan when they interviewed the dude from Zeus. I'm going to treat it like how I treated the Miss Wonder Live. Most people like it when I do my commentaries like that, so we're going to do it like that, and then we're going to talk about her possible jail time as well. So this is going to be nothing but Tasha K and Tasha K only. This video might run for a while. But y'all like the longer videos anyway. So before we get into anything in regards to this, be on the lookout Saturday night as the Boys Night Out go live Saturday night for the season finale of Boys Night Out. We um, After um, Saturday night's episode, we will be taking a hiatus and we will be coming back in mid to late summer for season three. So be on the lookout for that. All right. Anything else that I got coming up on my channel will be discussed and talked about at the very end of the video. So without any further ado, let's get into the mess right now. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, honey. Let's get into it, child. Because we got some things to listen to and to discuss, okay, as the interview continues. So let's get into it, y'all. Let's enjoy it. So, Tasha, girl, let's jump right into the depths of it. Let's get it. How did you get yourself into this situation with Cardi B? I don't know. What's the why? I <laughs> I mean, protocol is the same. You know, celebrities, you know, they hit their Instagram. Um, I said, suit? So she suit? <laughs> <laughs> Natasha, listen, you know I love you, girl. But why are you sitting up here trying to act like you don't know how you got yourself in hot water? Girl, you know how you got in the hot water. And it ain't because you was boiling some, um, and, and it wasn't because you was boiling some collard greens either. You got in the hot water because you decided to put out a bunch of lies about this lady. And you went into the courts and you admitted that you was lying on the lady. Tasha, come on now. We got to be honest. <laughs> well, we but Tasha, I just want to know, honestly, was it worth, you know, you just not taking any of the videos down? It was. It really was. I mean, here's the thing, because in every situation, there's a lesson, okay? Mm -hmm. And so my channel was going smooth. We had no problems. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we're growing. Yes, we got beefs here and there, but for the most part, everything, we have a great relationship with YouTube. And so this, I'm going to be honest with you, everything was smooth sailing, so I thought this would go smooth sailing. But, you know, the universe had otherwise and said no. So, I mean, for the most part... Like I said, I wouldn't change anything about, you know, what happened because I've learned so much as a businesswoman, as a blogger, as a, 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 you know, a talk show host in the making. And so, yes, I wouldn't have had it any other way. But girl, was it at the stake of four million dollars, Tasha K? Well, the appellate court ain't ruled on that yet. So we got <laughs> We got to wait. We got listen, and there were so many things, and, and and I've told, I've said this before. Like there were so many things that went down in the courtroom that I wish I could talk about that hindered a lot of you know the case on both sides, and so um, that's what this you know the appellate court for the eleventh uh, uh, court is for. So they review everything to make sure it was it was good, and you know a lot of things that was put in place you have to abide by the law, of mm -hmm. course, and so our case was probably the fourth or fifth defamation case ever in the United States. States, people don't try defamation. It doesn't make it to court. But I said, we're going to court. <laughs> but why would you go to court, Tasha, when you knew you didn't have the money to pay and you knew you were telling lies? Why go to court? Just take the damn videos down. Like, that's the part I don't understand, but continue. So, what it sounds like to me is that this, this was all a plot that Todd set up so kind of way. <laughs> No, but this okay. sounds like this was like something that you said, okay, 
I may not win this case. Of course. Uh, I may get sued. Of course. But I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to make this work in my favor. Why are you telling my business? Oh. <laughs> why, why are you telling my business? <laughs> Listen, I need the bottle. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on. But, but this is what I'm saying, sister. So I want to know, so how was your support system during this, this time? Like, Oh, man. Amazing. My husband, you know, and here's the thing that a lot of people don't know is that I, I when I was pregnant mm -hmm. and the case was filed, I said, you know what? If she want the videos down, I'll take them down if it's that bad. Because I was I had a high risk pregnancy and I didn't want any extra stress. You know what I'm saying? And so but my husband, he was in the DR enjoying his time. And he said, you know, he heard about what happened. He said, no, put the videos back up because I did take them down and we're just going to find some lawyers. And we did. Okay, so basically you're saying that your husband, you said that while you were pregnant, the case came out right while you were pregnant. So while you were pregnant, your husband tells you to keep the video, put the videos back up and we're going to get a lawyer. Girl, your husband fucked you up because that's not a good look. Like, why would he tell you to keep the videos up knowing what was going on with him? That don't make no sense to me. Why would he do that? And why would you listen, Tasha? Girl. And so my support system has always been amazing, strong, supportive. And guess what? You know, when we go through things like this, it's, it's life. You know what I'm saying? In life, you're going to have, you know, you're going to fail. And so when you fail, is it necessarily you failing if I'm better at what I'm doing? Because this made me better. Imagine if I was bigger, the number would have been bigger. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Right. So. Yeah, I'm 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 excited. I, when I tell you, and and I I say that humbly, I am excited that this happened the way that it did. People were like during the whole case mm -hmm. and 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 all the, the the hoopla and all the stuff that was going on. People were really trying to get me to speak on it. Mm -hmm. I did I didn't say a word. I wanted this to happen. Oh, I didn't want to talk about you. I wanted to talk to you. Oh, you played your cards mm -hmm. right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them could have had. <laughs> you played your cards. Yes. <laughs> I mean, telling people just hit the email. Yeah, but, 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 <laughs> so, so what do you say to people who would say like, okay, uh, all of your stories about her were fabricated? <laughs> That's absolutely not true, and she knows that. So. Really? Yes, including that one. But go ahead, <laughs> <laughs> Look, because you know the stuff. But you said that you knew you were lying, though. Okay, <laughs> including that one. <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah. Really. Uh -huh. But when all of this stuff was going on, Tasha, I have to say for me personally, like personally, I was sitting on the sidelines and I was like, girl, I love my sister. Yeah. But I couldn't go that. I wouldn't go that deep into, mm. you know, this woman's personal business or into her. And by no way. like, Well, I don't. It's, her, it's the family and the friends that go deep. I just report. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, can you shed a little bit of light on the alleged reports that your husband ooh, and his testimony on the stand had a lot to do with you losing this case? We're a team. Okay. So, um, I mean, they only had him on the stand five minutes. But that five minutes trended. It trended because, you know, you got two sides of the courtroom, right? Mm hmm I had three people on my side. There was 20 on hers. They asked him business questions. They didn't ask him anything about my stories because he doesn't know. We have parts that we play. So, and he was only up on the stand five minutes, but the transcripts will be out. Mm, so you waiting on the transcript. I mean, I, 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 the so, internet waiting on. <laughs> <laughs> the internet waiting on. <laughs> so did you actually confess to making up stories about Cardi B? No, absolutely not. Really? No. And the transcripts will prove that. Yes. Yes. I got to see these transcripts, child, because that's the main thing that's been going on around the block is that you admitted on under oath that you knew that you were lying. And now you're saying that you're not lying and that it will be proved in the transcripts. We going to see. So, Tasha, you don't think that you contributed to any of her pain and suffering and turmoil and things? Now, I don't told you. 
No. But sister, <laughs> but you know what? You can have no, but you know what? I want to ask you this because we're both human beings, and and if somebody is online and they're dragging us in spaces about things that are untruths to us, and they're wearing it out, and then you you have this thing because you know I'm a fan, okay. and you have this thing where you say, "Well, my sources tell me." Absolutely. How how credible do you think these people's do you think your sources are? As credible as when I talk to any other person on the phone and they provide me pictures and, and whereabouts and text messages and even recordings. You know? So there's a reason why a lot of stuff didn't make it. But TS, I, I tell you what, like, and, and I know a lot of people want to know what went down, but because I pay these white people a lot of money, <laughs> <laughs> close to a million dollars. Close they got to. more money. I got more money to spend. I ain't trying to write another check with my <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> listen. I I trust me. Tasha K has not changed. Tasha K is still very much Tasha K in one day. One day. It may be a year from now, maybe two. Everything gonna come out. It's gonna come out Tasha K style. There are lots of people who said that you were on Nicki Minaj's payroll <gasps> and that you did this because you were paid by Nicki Minaj to do this. I want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Candy when you need her? The lies! The lies! <laughs> Nicki ain't, Nicki don't with lawsuits. She don't with the legal system. You understand what I'm saying? So she's very protective about that and so um she really knew nothing about my case mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so I, but this I, was the people were saying like a lot of people because you know of that long-standing situation that uh that that she yeah. and uh, cardi b have but you know i mean that those are two um and so this is what they failed to report now i can say this okay so there was a question asked in court do i feel that um Cardi B is on the level of Nicki Minaj. And I looked at Cardi B and I said, yes. Yes. Mm. Absolutely. When we talk about star stardom and influence, now, has she accomplished what Nicki Minaj has accomplished? Has she broken records? Like, no. But on the same level, as far as influence, yes. Yes. And Nicki Minaj gave her that clout. So will your style of blogging change after this? Oh, it done got better, child. Oh, better. You ain't seen the. Uh... <laughs> Tasha K has a rock. <laughs> well, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back after this brief break. <laughs> hush, child, hush. We are back on Turned Out with T.S. Madison on Fox Soul. Natasha, oh, listen. <laughs> Do I need to give you twenty dollars, girl? I, I need it. You need I it. I need it. Where you gonna come up with this four million dollars from? You got paperwork for that. You got paperwork for that. Yeah. You got paperwork. Do you got? Do you got? Yeah, you got insurance in place. Oh well. Oh man. <laughs> Do you got it, sir? Look, look, we falling out the car. Somebody neck hurting. Somebody back ain't working no more. I ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Nothing. My God. So, Tasha, just for fun, I want to... Now, we already know she ain't got... <laughs> play a little game called okay. Should I Blog It or uh -oh. Should I Leave It? Okay. I think that's it, child. I think that's enough of that interview, child. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right. Now, before we get into the whole jail thing, let's talk about this interview real fast, okay? Now, like I said before... Y'all know that I like Tasha K. Y'all know that. Like, y'all know I was standing out when she came to my channel or whatever that day. So, nothing, none of that, even though I got, even though I don't agree with the things that she has done as of late, the, the, the facts remain the same. I still fuck with her channel. You know what I mean? Like, I may not agree with everything, but I still admire her and what she's done, regardless of what she did. So, I'm listening to this interview and it just makes me feel like there is no accountability. She don't think that she did anything wrong. She just going to continue on doing what she's doing. Now, what the thing that stuck out the most to me is when she said that 
she had taken the videos down but her husband told her to put them back up why the fuck would he do that that's my question why would he ever do that like what made him think that that was a that was a good look for tasha there wasn't no good look for her there was no good look for her there was not no good look for her at all like i don't know why he thought that that would be good for her you think that that's okay for her to have those video those those videos up about her and he, here's my thing about that I think that she would have just been better off just taking the videos down or just setting them to private or something like that. Like, just do that. Because, I mean, if a person is coming after you and they're telling you that the shit is a lie, then it's a lie. Take them down to protect yourself. And I felt like she wanted to play hardball and then got, and then she, since she continued to play, and then Cardi B wanted to win in the case. And now she got to jump through hoops to do extra other, you know, do more shit. You know, so she can keep herself from paying all that money that she don't really have. So it's just like, I don't know who's on her team, but whoever is on her team, they're not doing no good job for real because this she wouldn't even be going through all this. And then just like she said, she don't want to have to write another check, spend more money, pay all this money. Of course not, but you wouldn't have to do this, Tasha, if you would have just took the damn videos down. Was it that serious? Was it that important? Like, girl, you got over a million subscribers. Like, I'm pretty sure you're going to get a big, a, a bigger video than those. Like, I'm pretty sure you will. If you got those big videos, you will be able to get another one. That's just how much I believe in what you, in your gift. You will be able to make those same views all over again. I mean, you had lost like 6,000 subs when you lost the case. But then you gained them all back and now you're back over a million subscribers already. So it's like you're capable of doing anything. But at the same point in time, you should be capable of doing the right thing sometimes. But that's, you know, that gets you put in the bad place when you do that. And see, you know, when I when I first started watching Tasha K, this had to be like back in 2018, 20, 2017, 2018, when I first came across her channel. I always knew that she would get big and I always knew that she would be able to, you know, jump through hoops and do everything else that a lot of us are striving to do. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of anything, you know. My, um, my, from the time that I came up in YouTube, I came up in 2010, you know what I mean? So the people that I looked up to are still around. Like the people I looked up to was like Kevin and McHale, um, Sweet Editions TV, Ashley Miller, Bundy Blue, Forrest Rock. Like those are the people that I came up with, you know what I'm saying? And as of right now, they are still a big inspiration to me, but as I as I've rebranded myself and, and and rejuvenated my channel, I look up to people that people like the Tasha K's. You know, I love Tasha K, but I don't agree with everything that she does. You know what I mean? I don't never want to be, you know, whatever. So yes, I admire what she does for because of the way she was able to build her brand. I would love to build my brand not the exact same way but have a brand that's just as big as hers if you get my drip that's all i'm saying you know what i mean like i i admire her i admire the likes of dj richie sky i admire the um the likes of um what is their names child i just i be forgetting names like it ain't nothing i admire the likes of armand wiggins you know what i mean and i y'all know i've said stuff about him a lot like you know i've always you know, said I love his work and, and wanted to work with him at some point in time. Like, I, those are the people that I came up with. I love Kempire. Look at how Kempire quickly built his brand and made it big. And he's over 100,000 subscribers. And as much as I don't really fool with Justin J like that, I admire him for the way he built his brand. Now, do I want my brands to be just like theirs? No. But would I love a big platform like theirs? Of course. That's why I'm working my ass off. That's why I'm working my ass off right now. I literally got 5% of energy left in me and I'm still up doing videos. That's just how much I want. That's just how hungry I am to build my brand up and, and be bigger and better than what I've been over the last 11 and a half years. I want to be better than that. I want to be able to, you know, get myself to the right place. You know what I'm saying? So I admire these people. And Tasha K is one of those people. But was it really worth it? I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see as, as time continues. But um, now they're saying that Tasha K is facing potential jail time now because she was 
because she refused to remove the Cardi B videos from YouTube, okay? And this article comes from Hot New Hip Hop, and I'm going to put back T.S. Madison and Tasha K once again, although T.S. Madison has nothing to do with this particular um, situation. But Cardi B took a massive W in her legal battle against blogger Tasha K over defamatory videos about the rapper. However, Cardi's attorneys are still working tirelessly to get the videos in question scrubbed from the internet, even after a judge ordered Tasha K to do so. Journalist Dennis Byron shared an update on the case revealing that Tasha K defied the court order to remove the videos about Cardi B on her page. Byron said that Cardi's legal team is now looking into filing a new response to court that could potentially lead the potential prison time for the vlogger. Breaking, the blogger lady, a.k.a. Tasha K, defies federal court order by failing to remove defamatory statements about I am Cardi B. Cardi B's legal team's amounts of response. She is facing possible prison time and financial sanctions. This is a developing story, he tweeted. The rumors that Tasha K was taken into custody were challenged by Byron shortly thereafter. Fake news alert, the blogger lady is not in jail yet, despite what her minion a.k.a. employee, is reporting on Tasha K's IG. He's referring to her assistant, Chelsea, because she did go live and she did say that Tasha was in jail. Cardi B sued Tasha K in 2019 after the blogger shared videos on her YouTube page, making several false allegations about Cardi B. A judge ruled in Cardi's favor, resulting in a near $3 million lawsuit I mean, in a near $3 million judgment, including $1.5 million in damages and another $1.3 million in litigation expenses. In response, Tasha K stated that she don't got it. Oof, child. Okay. So that's pretty much the gist of that. Now, from what this person is saying, I guess I, from what I got from it, he's trying to say that Chelsea lying and that Tasha K ain't in jail. But she was though i don't know but that's what the girl said the girl said she was in jail that's what the girl said the girl said she was in jail so i don't know um but i'm gonna say this and then i'm gonna be on up out of here y'all like i said is it worth the prison time what about your kids what about all of that like is it really worth it are you really to go to if are you really willing to go to jail over some stupid shit like this you got to be smarter than that, Tasha Kibi. You got to be smarter than that. You really willing to go to jail, go to the slammer for this shit? It really ain't worth it. It's just not worth it at all. Like, I just feel as though you shouldn't even be doing that. You shouldn't even be doing it. Girl, like, take the videos down. Your freedom should be way more important than those videos. Those same videos are the reason why you're in this predicament. You just, you had a baby not too long ago and you got a daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like you got kids. Why would you even put yourself in this predicament to where you would be taken away from those kids? Your kids should mean more than these damn videos. And yes, your videos are the reason why you um eat. You know what I mean? Like straight up. And I just think that she needs to stop being so prideful. And I think that's the problem. She's she's She has way too much pride. She's not willing to give it up. And I just think that she should just remove it. Like, just remove it. And it's, it's like, girl, you going to go to jail for this shit? Baby, ain't no fame in the world worthy of my freedom, period. I don't give a damn. Ain't none of it worthy of it at all. But, child, that's all I really got for this. Um, they say it's a developing story, so I will continue to follow it if there's more information out about said story. And y'all, this is just about it. Um, the video lasted for over for like 24 minutes. That's that's a pretty decent time. I was expecting it to last a little bit longer, but you know, I got to get up off of here and take a shower and go to bed because I ain't been to sleep at all. So um, with that being said, let's get into what I got coming up on Scotty by Nature TV. Let's get into it. <laughs>
And the Whether You Like It or Not panel will be returning on May the 2nd at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it will be starring Scotty, Terrence, Josiah, Yah, Really B, and Simply Sakina. And we will be covering the Real Housewives of Atlanta all spring, all summer, as well as Basketball Wives whenever they come out. The Influence with me and Reggie Artis will be starting to air on Saturday morning. So be on the lookout for that, as well as Who Was Wrong, which will also be airing on Sunday morning, okay? So be on the lookout for the very first um, episodes of both of these new series that will be airing for the next couple of weeks, okay? Also, let's not forget about the Bad Boys Los Angeles um, panel on Monday. The time may be slightly different because I am attending the Boss Babe Awards next um, Sunday with Jamar, so I have to work on Monday. So whenever my schedule, uh, whenever they got me off work, you know, when I see my schedule, I know what time. So the time may not be the same, but it just depends on my work schedule. And Roast and Review, Featuring me, Terrence, and Josiah, where we roast and review Candy and the Gang, as well as Love and Mayor Chunsville. Um, it will be airing on Wednesday, and it should be on Josiah's channel. If not, we already know it'll be back on mine, okay? So with that being said, you guys, be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. Click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever there's a video coming out. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter and my IG will be down below in the description box. But if you want me to follow you back on IG, because that's where I'm always at, be sure to hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag message Team Scotty, and I will definitely follow you back. With that being said, you guys, your boy's out of here until my next video. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.